What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe. We got Luke Arrington. You gonna say hi to your fans? We got Mr. Jake Arrington. What up? We got Mr. Lowell Roberts behind the camera. What's up, everybody? And as y'all can see, we got three beautiful long beards. Before we continue on, I gotta give a huge shout out to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Today is opening day of youth season, 2022, in the south zone of Florida. Mr. Jake doubled up, Mr. Luke killed his first bird ever, and we're about to show you all that exciting hunt, and we're also gonna pull some turtle traps and try to catch us a big old soft shell turtle. We've actually already set one line this morning, we're gonna go set four more. But first, we're gonna show you Jake's awesome hunt. Now, Mr. Lowell had been roosting these birds for a while. He knew exactly where they were at. He had us a little palmetto blind set up, which is just some palm fronds he stuck in the ground. At daylight, the birds are gobbling off to our right. Y'all just watch how exciting this gets, and it gets really exciting in a hurry. All right, y'all, I gotta jump on here and explain to you what just happened. So the gun that Jake's shooting is actually a brand new M2 Benelli, and you just watched the infamous Benelli click. So with this particular shotgun, when you load it, if you don't push the action pretty hard all the way forward, you get that click. I've often heard about it with turkey hunters, and you just witnessed Jake experience it. Our hearts sank when we heard that click, but just watch what happens next. We rebound, regroup, and it's not a good day for the turkey. Wait, wait, wait. And what you're witnessing now is poor Jake's gun is jammed. That's right, the second gun jammed. So now Lowell has to unjam it, get the bullet right. Hopefully Jake can make this second shot. <laughs> Got the double, baby. <laughs> it's crazy how it's floppy. Luke, I don't have a clue. I I reloaded that gun and it didn't even hit the primer. I I must have not closed it tight enough. Jake, that was exciting, son. All right, y'all. Before we go bag Jake's turkey, I got to tell you about some serious home security made simpler, and that is Simply Safe. With Simply Safe, we can live. So much more comfortably and not have to worry about anything happening to our home or our toys out back they got an awesome doorbell we got to go inside though because the noise out here is crazy so one of the cool things about simply safe besides the fact that they protect us from robberies and break-ins and all that kind of stuff is we can see when packages are getting delivered to our house because we do often order some very expensive stuff and if I can see when they get delivered, obviously I can get them before anybody else that didn't pay for them gets them. So one of the awesome things about all of Simply Safe's products is just how easy they are to use. From the wireless outdoor cameras being super easy to charge and even easier to set up, to the base station, to the security pad, the entire package is super easy to use. Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. 
Visit simplysafe.com slash bluegabe to learn more. Jake, how about that? Yeah, that was pretty exciting, but when the gun didn't go off, that oh. got a little scary. You guys, as you can clearly see, Lowell's sitting next to Jake. Luke and I are behind them, and when that gun clicked and didn't go off, my heart about sank. But luckily, when I walked in and I got in the blind, I set my extra gun right there, and Mr. Lowell, being the hunter he is, reached over and swapped guns. Now, Luke did bust his. I'm going to wait and show you that in a different video because I want Luke to do something a little bit unique. Maybe do his first catch, clean, and cook on his own. Jake's going to do it soon with the snapper. I want to take the time though and show you guys what a true Osceola looks like. There's six different subspecies. Two of them live in Mexi Mexico. One of them too actually comes into America too. So you have an Osceola, which is what we have here in South Florida. Then you have an Eastern, which is from Georgia pretty much all the way around over to Kansas. Then you have a Rio, which is in that Kansas, Oklahoma, and then a Merriam that goes over to California. The Goulds, which is from New Mexico down into Mexico, and the Oscillated, which is way down in Mexico in the jungle, and even farther South America than that. This is the Osceola, and the way you can tell is these dark, dark uh, feathers right here on the tips of their wings. These are what they strut with. And you can see right here, when you watch them strut in, whenever you're ready, they rub the tips of their wings off right here. They do a spit and drumming. They're actually making a noise that you can't hear on camera. Sorry, the gnats are bad out here. They're making this like doom, doom. And I'm gonna try to play the footage right now. When Jake started hearing that this morning, his old jacket was rattling, he was shaking. But he freehanded both of them, as you guys can see, and that's amazing to do at 11 year, years old. So let's clean one real quick. We're going to take the breast out. This is actually Jake's pocket knife that Mr. Brett Dubois gave him. We're just going to cut a little slit right here on the top. Once you get that slit open, it's really a tearing technique from here on out. And here's another tail sign of Osceola. You see that green pus? Osceolas have huge spurs and they're really, really aggressive. And when they spur each other, they spur each other right in the chest and you'll often get these battle wounds. So, this one right here was the... Hey dad, guess what? That one right there was the dominant probably one used just for the alligator shot. Yeah, you are right, Luke. Luke just said we could probably use this for alligator chum. Alligator bait. I say we set one of the turtle lines with a piece of this. How about that? Yeah. I bet it works. Jake, we might need to sharpen your knife a little bit. Yeah, it's a little dull. <laughs> Mr. Spotswood, come over here. You guys, he doesn't like the camera that much, but this is the man behind the madness, Mr. Robert Spotswood. He's also the one who owns the Marriott where we stay in Key West such an awesome family and a more even more awesome person to allow us to come out here jake i got the i got i can't do it jake i'm gonna have to sharpen that pulling out the old danko much better mr robert told jake that jake had to pay a turkey tax and that means he has to give up one of his turkey breasts i still got another turkey Look at that though. You guys talk about organic, wild, no hormones, no steroids, beautiful, healthy, awesome turkey meat. We will see y'all out there on the ranch. We're going to go try to catch a turtle next and cook up an awesome lunch. All right, got all the birds cleaned. 
we're all now in shorts and short sleeve shirts. It's about 85 degrees here in sunny South Florida. And we're gonna go set some lines. Luke, come here. Why is your face so dirty? Because you did that to me. Explain to everybody what we did. Tell them what we used for face paint this morning. A burnt prom frond. Look right here at your fans. A what? A burnt palm frond. <laughs> Jake, do you still? Yeah, Jake still has some of his on too. So this morning when we were getting ready to go, we got up at 4:45 a.m. We had no face paint, and the boys' face just glow. So we went over to the fire pit and got some burnt wood and just did it all over their face, and it did the trick. Let's go catch some turtles. Hopefully, we have no idea if we're gonna catch one. We're gonna try though. Guys, if we don't catch them with the traps, can we try to shoot one? Shoot a turtle? It's illegal to shoot a turtle in the state of Florida. Well, we're gonna catch it and clean it. Yeah, you are right, but laws are laws. Have y'all want some beef jerky tips? The Acme beef jerky right there hits the spot every time. Y'all heard it here first. That's Lowell's favorite beef jerky. And we also got to give a huge shout out to Lowell. If y'all aren't following him on Instagram, I'm gonna put it right here follow him he's the real deal he's now like the boy's uncle does everything for him super nice guy one of the hardest working best hunting dudes ever and we're gonna do a video soon on his airboat chasing down wild hogs on Lake Okeechobee and he's gonna jump off the boat and catch them alive with his bare hands y'all stay tuned for that Jake Hop off and get me that rib bone right there, please. Wait, can I go? Yeah, you can get two rib bones. Get right there. The long, narrow one. That one. Yep. Yep. Come on. Get those and come on. Seatbelt's on. That's a big gator there. Oh yeah. Where's the gator? See it right there? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That one ain't so big. You can see it. It don't look tight. Just pulled up to our first line and there's a pretty good sized gator laying on the bank. So I don't have a high hopes because if we did have a turtle, he would have probably already grabbed it. Oh. There's been one on it. See how the bait was way over there? Look at all the... You see the bubble stirred up in front of you? Yeah. Luke, you know that gator was just right there and now you're right here on the bank? So we set this line earlier and you see what I have for a steak? Out here in Florida, not only is there tons of snakes and spiders and other things that'll hurt you, we actually have a big population of Florida panthers. And I just stopped and let the boys get some bones off of a carcass that was port more than likely killed by a panther. And that's just one of the things we got to deal with here. This line's been in the water for about an hour. It had one on it, so we're going to rebait it. One thing I've learned with turtle fishing like this, you need to be checking the line very often because they'll get it in their mouth to get hung up and they'll find something and spin up and spin 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 and de-hook themselves so let's get another piece of bait using this rib bone it's pretty neat you know an animal was born lived its whole life died and now we're using its bone for something hold that jake It is scorching out here right now. Kelly's gonna watch this video and see me cutting on the drone and she's gonna be like, what on earth is he doing? Sorry, babe. Heck, I guess the same thing with that cow rib bone is what we're doing with this turkey. This turkey was having him a peaceful morning until one of the two boys put some number nine lead in his head. I think we'll get one if we're patient. I'm trying to really 
thread it on there good. All right, just like that. And now we wait. Actually, we're not gonna wait very long. Let's go set the last one. This one's already been set, so we have one more to go put in. Let's go, boys. Just pulled up to our fourth and final spot. Got a rib bone. As soon as we pulled up, two big gators blew off the bank too, so I gotta actually be real careful with my boys. Anytime you're hunting, you gotta be careful with the wind, and same with fishing for turtles or alligators. You want your bait upwind of where you think they're at, that way they can smell it and go to it. I bet you there's shark teeth in these, this pile. I guarantee it. About 10 miles south of here at another farm, they're finding megalodon teeth in a sand mine. Oh. Ah, that rib bone works good. Luke scared me, he just threw a rock in there. He ain't pulling that out. I got high hopes for this spot. What's next, Mr. Lowell? I think we're gonna give these lines some time and come back and check them in a little bit, see if we can get some turtles. It's a beautiful spot. How big is this place? Uh, I think it's a little bit under or over 3,000 acres, um, but you can ride all day long and not see the end of the property. It's a beautiful place, great habitat for the wildlife, and it's just a game-rich environment. And uh, it's one of my most favorite places to come on my time off, and I enjoy spending my time down here in these woods. I've been born and raised locally around here and always wanted to come down here as a little kid and Mr. Buddy gave me the opportunity to take care of the place and I absolutely love it. Unfortunately though, this particular ranch just sold. So this weekend and next weekend is Buddy and Lowell's last weekend out here. And I guess instead of pouting about it, you just gotta man up and try to find somewhere else to lease. And I think all three of us have actually found a place that will work out. Cause Mr. Trevor, the sad thing about his place, and for those of y'all that follow along, you know who Mr. Trevor is and you've seen his beautiful place, he lost it too. The people that he leases from are taking it back because their kids are a little bit older now and wanna start and want to start enjoying it as well. So me, Buddy, Lowell, Kelly, my kids, and everybody else's family are gonna to try to team up and lease one big place. Oh. Luke, what are those things? Little alligators. Just look at them sticking in there. You gonna head. jump in there and catch one? Oh, there's another one right there. Hey. Look right there at the bubble trail. There it is, it just popped up. I'll give you a dollar if you could go down there and get him. A dollar? Oh, there's one on the bank, see? Ooh, I think this is a good spot. This is a good spot. Oh, there he goes. Boy, Dad, we might catch a baby alligator. Let's set it right over here. What are you gonna do if we catch a baby alligator? We can release them, and then... Sort of like a catch and release alligator hunt? Yeah, just release one. Nothing like using your drone case for a cutting fossil. board. Fossil. <laughs> Look at him. That is actually a fossil. Yep. <sighs> Luke, if I think we the get deepest one... hole is down there with them catfish. Yeah, Luke, if we catch one, here, you're getting it, because I am scared of alligators. Wait, Dad, can we catch a catfish? We might. It's a My yo-yo is not working very good.
See? I'm struggling. Oh yeah, that's it. That's all we need. We can only set four lines because we can only legally have one turtle one turtle each. So on to eat something's eating it? Little minnows are getting it. I bet you them armored catfish are gonna uh, hit it. Rip. Don't get down there. That's mama. Look how she just disappears. She's sitting right there. Just yeah. Here. You can but still she see her. She disappeared in the mud right there. Again. Imagine wading down through there fishing or something. You'd never see her. Can I no, you might scare her or make her mad. No. I take it we don't have nothing on this first line. I see, see the bait sitting right there. Oh, it drifted out. Drifted back in some. We might need to go put it in that pond we just left. Mm -hmm. There might not be any turtles right here because of all the alligators. Luke, you want to go swimming? Jake, you need to cool off? Nope. Dad, I'll give you a door so you can go down there and catch one. Come on, Dad. I don't think these are man-eaters, but wherever their mom is, she probably is a man-eater. They just swim <laughs> like little chipmunks. Here, let's just push Luke in. No! <laughs> <laughs> We've been fishing now for like two hours, checking our baits and haven't got anything, and there's something on this line. I don't know what it is yet. Could be a catfish. Well, if it was a catfish, I would have been glad. No. So we could. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we got a turtle. We struck pay dirt. Wait, is this what we're looking for? Yeah. Yes, it's a soft silk turtle. Jake, come over here. Just look at how. Look at this. Just look at how cute he is. It's a good size too. Yeah. Just look at him. He's just flopping around like. I'm trying to get him on his back. There you go. You guys, I was getting ready to think we weren't going to get one. But just like everything else in life, you never give up. This morning when Jake killed his double, most people would have went home. But Luke, being six, really wanted to try to get one himself. Mr. Lowell's confident, said if we just stay here long enough, one will come. Look at his mouth. You, you stick your finger around him and he'll bite the snot out of you. He looks like, he has kind of like a armadillo nose too. Like a, like a, you know the movie, wait, there's actually a minnow. <laughs> this kid's brain is so sidetracked. So anyhow, about 45 minutes after Jake killed his, Luke piled up a good one too. And that was all because we were patient. We actually have some more lines set. So we're gonna go back to camp, give it a little while, clean up. The boys have school tomorrow, clean this turtle and hopefully catch at least one or two more and then cook some turtle and turkey for y'all. Look, you see where something bit him right here? Probably one of those alligators. Or probably a baby. It's so crazy because most people could never sit here this close to the water with that many alligators. It's just something we've done our whole life, so we're pretty used to it. I need to get the pistol and dispatch him. Well, you're Hold that line right there. Well, you're getting the pistol? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pistol. Shoot him in the butt. <laughs> All right, so I had to do something to the turtle before I could show y'all how we actually cleaned him. I went ahead and made him a convertible. Now, if you look, there's all the meat. It fits just like a piece of puzzle. Now, to some of y'all, this might be disheartening, but see his ribs? All we did was cut around his shell right here, Made a slit and a slit and that exposed all of that awesome meat. Now we can make a soup, we can fry it, we can do whatever we want. But today we're frying it. The kids love fried turkey. They've never, what was that? that oh, that door. screen door. They've never had fried turtle before. So we're gonna actually take it right now, get all the skin off of it, take it inside and start to prepare it. I just wanted to show you out here what it was like and how I did what I did. Literally just cut, cut, cut right here same on this side 
I opened him up, gutted him, turtle on the half shell, ready to go in the fryer. Doesn't get no better than that, nor any fresher than that. Key ingredient right here. I'm telling you with anything that you're cooking, key ingredient. So this is the turtle, this is the turkey. Y'all see that? Y'all know what that is? Lowell decided he wanted to eat the neck. So I'm gonna take this pickle juice, and I'm gonna pour it right in here. And then just because it's been so hot today, take me a good swig of that. I'm gonna take all this turtle meat, and put it in that juice, and let it sit for about 20 minutes. Because pickle juice is mostly vinegar, this will take out any kind of gamey taste. Look at that. Now, I will say I'm no turtle connoisseur. Definitely, other than just common sense cooking, I have no idea what I'm doing with turtle. But I do with the turkey. We're just going to cut this up in cubes and do some wild turkey nuggets. about like that. One inch cubes, nothing fancy. So with the turkey, I use salt, pepper, garlic powder, put them in this bag and shook them up. And while they're sitting and the turtles marinating, let me give you a tour of this beautiful lodge that I've never done before. You know that's an old mount right there. Two deer fighting, bobcat, which we killed a bobcat two nights ago. Coyote. Pheasant. What y'all in here doing? Playing Where's Luke? I don't know. He skinned out somewhere. He skinned out. Skinned Look at out. these. Oh. Look at the teeth. Shot. Big bar. That's how long ago that hog was killed. Now with a boar hog, you've seen in our videos where a hog's popping his teeth. I'll show you a clip right now. <laughs> you see on this hog? its witter was broke which allowed its tooth to keep growing and it actually grew back into its mouth see that see how see the light through there look at that that's crazy this is our florida model duck we got some turkeys over there that's a pintail these are merriams that's what lives up north in like california or out west in california who's winning I think we're about tied up. Yeah. I'm gonna hit that 12 ball into the 10 down there. The real question is, is where's Luke? No one knows. One thing about Luke is he's six years old and has a mind of his own. Trust me when I say that. Luke! This might be interesting. Let's go see what he's doing. Luke! I knew you'd be up to something. What are you doing? Grabbing babies. What are you gonna do with those? Just do stuff. You don't wanna be inside playing pool? Well, are you gonna play with us? Yeah. Okay. I think the turtle's been marinating long enough and I am ready to eat. Turtle's going in first. And then a turkey. Probably going to take about three minutes. We will see y'all right here at this beautiful table. Another thing that I'm going to miss here at this camp. I don't even know what my hair looks like. All right, Jake, say the blessing. Thank you, dear God, for this day. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for letting us be able to catch these turkeys and the turtle. And please help us in this wonderful food to nourish our body. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I always wonder what Luke's doing during a prayer. You never know with him. Was you nibbling? Are you already eating? Jake, you go first. So we got each of us have two pieces of meat, turtle and turkey. Luke, did you ever think you'd be eating turtle? Right here it looks like ham and the other half looks like like scallop. Is it good though? Put it in your mouth and taste it. What are you over here gnawing on? I was gnawing on that neck bone. It's your turn. I've already ate my piece. We're gonna put old blue game on right here. 
with mm. old neck meat. Mm -hmm. What you think? I never thought I'd eat a turtleneck. Well, where's the neck? Do you regret it or would you do it again? It's probably the best piece I've had yet. <laughs> you wanna try a bite? You gotta eat it over your plate, here. Sure. It's got bone in it, so you just gotta bite it. Uh. Eat over the plate. How is it? Can we wash your face when we get home? Mm -hmm. When you put that pickle juice on there, when we were cleaning that turtle, it smelled like a boar gator, which stinks really bad. If y'all are wondering who's filming right now, if you could only see the concoction of chairs I have together. <laughs> I've ate turtle meat my whole life, and that's the first time I've ever had it with a pickle juice. And I gotta say, that is really, really good. So your dad can teach me how to clean one, and I'll show you my, my pickle trick. My dad can skin one, put it in the fryer pan faster than anybody I know. Well, y'all? That is good. We have been blessed in our life, to say the least. We got amazing, healthy kids. Lowell and I are healthy. Got a beautiful girlfriend, Kelly, who opted out of this trip because we've been traveling too hard and she wanted some home time. Lowell worked his butt off to scout these turkeys for us. Days and days and days. Mr. Robert, who leases the place, he's worked his whole life to be able to get a place like this. So thank you, Mr. Robert Spotswood. Thank you, Lowell. Like always, y'all check him out on Instagram and you've already seen him. He's in my second to biggest video ever, which will be my biggest very soon. Leave a comment below and tell Jake how good he did. Y'all, he, he impressed me very well. Free-handed that shotgun today, which to some people, especially some of the keyboard warriors on YouTube, they're like, I've done that my whole life. Well, when you have two gobblers strutting and drumming, at 10 yards, and you gotta do it once. Not only that, but the gun jam. That's what I was getting ready to say, yeah. it's a gun jam. So leave Jake a comment below and tell him how good of a job he did. He did amazing. Did excellent. Did excellent. We're gonna finish this plate of food. The kids and I have a two hour ride home. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. But right now, before Luke comes to interrupt us, we're getting the heck out of shape. See y'all.